Hello, we're going to go over how to make formicariums for your ants out of fire brick. Here's a fire brick I just picked up. Um, it's fired ceramic, not cement. You can pick them up at many stores, um, usually beside the fire logs inside. So, there it is. They're really water absorbent and they actually retain the moisture fairly well. So, turn this into three smaller nests because the queens I have only have a few workers. If I were to turn this into one nest, they'd probably get lost in it and that's not good because they might die. So, because it's wet, it'll be a little bit easier to drill and it's not going to put up as much dust. So, whenever doing anything with this in way of drilling or cutting, wear safety goggles, particularly the ones that go all the way around because the particles from this and especially the dust is very abrasive and it's very hard on your eyes. So I'll put these on. Okay. So we're going to guess roughly a third of the way along. Okay, we're going to grab the drill. We're going to drill some lines straight up and down and then side to side as much as we can. And we're also going to go diagonally. Then the other way. A good way to clean this up is to use a container of water and a turkey baster. So there. Now we're going to line this up right above the edge. It's not exactly straight. My ants aren't really going to care. So. Okay, now to carve it. Don't need this label on anymore. There is the marker. Okay, what kind of tunnels do we want? I'm just going to do a quick outline. Stay away from the edges. For some reason, Firebrick seems to have a mind of its own. You can never seem to completely control it. I'm going to make some rather large tunnels for some carpenter ants for the Campanatus. Okay. This is a bit of a cheating method to help start your drilling off. <clears throat> Don't drill all the way through, just as deep as you want your tunnels to be. Mm -hmm. 
if you're smart, you'd probably do this on another uh, tray or something, so it's not as hard to clean up as mine. Okay. Hmm. I use a Dremel with um, an engraving bit on them. You can get the entire sets pretty cheap, and they're usually in there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. Yeah, when using this, really make sure you have your glasses on. I've had quite a few of these come far too close when I didn't have the glasses on. So, doesn't look like much, but it took away a lot of time drilling. Now we're just going to finish this up. Okay, you're going to get a piece of tubing you're going to use for your outworld. Then we're going to make sure it drills in to fit this. If you have the right size bit, you can probably use that, or just the Dremel. Okay, if it fits in there, you can probably see if it's level or not. So the glass will be able to go over top of it. We'll use two-part epoxy later on to silicone that in there. Okay, now what you really need to do is take this to some rain water or a big tub of water, an old toothbrush, and give it a really good scrub down so that there's nothing stuck because I'm getting lots of stuff off of here. I'm going to take this to a bigger bucket of water and I'll be right back.